Well, politically, going into various groups to lecture or do workshops uh, for quilting, the question comes up uh, in terms of, oh, you're a male, you're not supposed to be making quilts. You know, my mother and grandmother made quilts. I think when you say quilters, quilting, anything with quilt in it, you normally think about uh, women. Yeah, as, as Western thinkers, that's what we think about women. My thing is if people understood history, uh, particularly from African-American perspective, African-American cultural perspective, African history, African tradition, um, and the art form, we would look at it in the opposite direction. If you look on a broader, more international level, and I really look at the diaspora in terms of Africa, the Caribbean, and the Americas, how men came over from Africa as slaves and they brought all types of skills and one of them was textile skills and how to work with fabric, how to weave it, and how to design various clothing out of it. And so I said I look more on an international level as a definition of a male and working with fabric and how in Africa they do weave and make clothing and then if you look at other career areas nationally you have men that are chefs that uh, are very famous you have men that design women's clothes so uh, it's just a very narrow sort of definition that we have here in America of genders and what they're supposed to do and not do um, and it's women in this country African-American women in our um, in this culture who keep it alive who keep the tradition alive um, this type of thing, but traditionally it was um, it, it was a male, it was a man's craft. Uh, you do come across some stories sometimes in families where males have participated, fathers or uncles might have made one or two quilts, and that's sort of a folklore that gets passed down in the family. It, it had to be uh, sometime in the early mid '90s or so that there were a group of women. Um, in Africa who were trying to break into this male-dominated area. Um, and um, at the time, I think 10 women, they went to the high court to do this, this is like in the 90s, um, to do this. And at the time, um, I think maybe 10 women were accepted and the men forced them all out to, they got down to three. So when we look at, so, so I think within our culture, um, I think, not only with quilting, but across the board, when we are looking at um, at ourselves, we have to place ourselves, what we do, into a context, not into a Western context, but into a context of, of our own history to understand who we are. You know, so when I look at um, at, at at me working in the craft, um, I understand my place historically in working in the medium.